I'm here with the beautiful and talented Hilda Coronel and she's going to talk to us about what she's been doing this past few years. So, Hilda, hello. Hi. So, can you talk about what you have been busy with this past few years? Just being a regular housewife, a regular person. That's all. I'm just semi-retired. And talk about uh, how it is being a mother, grandmother, and wife. Uh, my kids are all grown up. So I'm trying to enjoy my grandkids, although they're all over the world. I still enjoy talking to my children. I still have a son in the house. So I'm busy. I keep busy. And you recently did a film and that went to Cannes? Yes, no, I, I did a Mistress for uh, last year for Manila, but we went to Cannes for an older film. That was done when I was about 17. And it was shown under the classics together with a Hitchcock film and a Cleopatra by Elizabeth Taylor and The Last Emperor. So it was great for us Filipinos. Mm -hmm. And tell us how you felt about seeing that movie again after so many years, uh, Manila, Sa <laughs> Liwanag. I thought I looked really young and slim. That was the first impression and of course um, it looked really crisp. The film looked beautiful. They redid all this and uh, it was really nice to see it again. And we thought about Lino Broca. He brought us all to Cannes, you know, it was, this is our second time, for me at least. We had in Shang there, and that's the first uh, Filipino film that went into the Cannes Film Fest. So we're very, very proud of all these achievements that we did, not just for ourselves, but for the Filipinos. Mm -hmm. And I heard that it was raining that time, and it, it was, was stormy. Crazy. And then it just stopped when we needed to come out of the limo, and we, had, we were all dressed up, we were in a gown, and thank God it stopped raining. Mm -hmm. Any celebrity sightings? Well, we had Nicole Kidman, and then we were just so nervous, I think, to be on the red carpet that we just hung the one and look around and like, you know, like you're like some, you know, uh, regular people. So we just said, we just go up already. I don't know if you're looking at it, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're there and like, oh, my God, who's there? It's like, we were just wanted to be, uh, we just wanted to be like regular, you know, people. Mm -hmm. What do you miss most about Manila? I miss the people. I love Filipinos. It will always be my country. Um, Filipinos are very warm. It doesn't matter where you are, right? You know this. You know. I mean, it's just the first three years when I was here, it was like a culture shock for me. People are busy working and you know, they mind their own business because they're busy. And I was a stay-at-home mom. I was busy with my, uh, my garden, my, my son, my animals, but it's like, ah, huh, it's so quiet. <laughs> Something like that. It's just different culturally, you know. I'm so used to uh, having my mates. I miss my mates. I miss my kids too, because they're all over the world. It's just hard. Would you consider going back to the movies? So? No, I don't think my husband will allow it to, you know. Um, once in a while, I think if there's a really nice project that would interest us, we would do it, of course. And you've been married for 13 years? Yes. And what do you think is the secret of your marriage? I think we we are friends more than anything else. We are, we love each other, but we are, we are friends and we're always together. We do everything together. I don't do anything that, you know, I have to ask him first and say, honey, what do you think? And he does the same with me. So I think we respect each other in that sense that it's uh, very important to know what the other one is thinking before doing something or deciding on something. And you look the same as I, you know. <laughs> I, I you wish, no. <laughs> you look so young and vibrant. I and think I'm more uh, happy. I'm, I'm happier. I'm not stressed. Uh, in my younger days, I think I was more, it's not that I'm less passionate. I was more high strung probably. I was young, right? So, and I had, I had the kids, and you had all these worries, and now my kids are all grown up, they're professionals, I just have one son that's still going through nursing, but it's more relaxed, and I feel it's more about me than, rather than my kids. Although, of course, I think about them all the time, but it's just like, okay, son, what do you want in life? What do you want to achieve? Do you want to be... How are you gonna eat? Are you gonna be? How are you gonna maintain how you look? It's it's a different uh, sense already. It's like a, your well-being is important now that you're aging, <laughs> that you're growing old. What are you gonna eat? Are you gonna exercise? So it's more like you know, you're contemplating on how your life is gonna be in the next 
30 hopefully another more than that right so you're thinking all these things and you're just relaxing and you're saying I'm gonna exercise I'm gonna eat better I don't want to be ill when I'm older so it's like a lot of things you know I want to be kinder to people I want to be a different person so you're just evolving I think you're growing not growing older but growing as a person and uh, would you allow your kids to go into show business? Uh, I never did, but I always gave them the option, like after college, if you feel like you really want to go into it, why not? Mm -hmm. But it's just a hard, it's very hard.